So uh, did you hear about um, how Blue Origin actually had their ribbon cutting on their facility four days ago? Oh, that big giant building that's, you know, was gray for a while and I didn't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, that's, that building is 350,000 square feet. Holy crap, <laughs> really? Um, it's actually uh, over there in Research Park, mm -hmm. if, you hadn't, if you didn't know that. In Research Park, second largest research park in the world, I'll say. I don't know about in the world, but in the U.S. Oh, sorry, not in the world. Yeah, in the United States. I don't know right if other countries. Alabama. I don't know if other countries have research parks, though. Yeah, they do. They got research parks. It's like it's a, a research park, Silicon Valley kind of similar idea. But there's like Silicon Valley's research parks. In like it probably and called Japan. something different because it'd be in a different language. Yeah, yeah. Woodchucka. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I don't wow. know what that means. All right. So Blue Origin was actually um, started in uh, near Van Horn, Texas. Van Horn. And they are, um, now that they're here in Huntsville, they're actually building uh, two different types of engines, um, the BE-4 and the BEU-3. Uh, so they're actually not using those for their own rockets, though. Well, they, well, they, well, they, what? This doesn't make any sense. What are they using them for? Um, so Blue Origin does have their own rockets, um, and but they're actually not using them. They're actually uh, using them for the, the Vulcan rocket which is ula's oh the united united launch alliance yeah the united launch Alliance. it's a combination of three different companies but the vulcan rocket i think is one of their latest that's kind of cool well they're um once they build all of these engines they're actually going to use the historic uh testing site which is um what was that test stand 4670 which was um, used during the Apollo missions. Yeah, they used the testing site for um, the 5F1 engines. It's really cool footage. It's crazy. Um, a three-mile radius that, well, it's subject to possible. Not not like every window was blown out in a three-mile radius, but like windows were blown out, especially on Marshall. <laughs> when they tested it, it created like the second loudest sound uh, uh, boom or some wave uh, that uh, produced by man. Uh, after the atomic bomb and uh, triggered a small earthquake in a, a neighboring county <laughs> wow from the f1 engines <laughs> Did, i guess crazy. they didn't have any idea how loud it was going to be they i guess no. they didn't plan for all those windows to shatter or otherwise they would have you know gotten some better windows y yeah thicker I, windows yeah well i'm pretty sure we don't do that crazy testing anymore with a big engines like that but At now least not in a like a place where people live yeah, you know, yeah, probably in like White Sands, New Mexico, or something like that. Yeah, they're not they're not going to do that. Where there's this the main residents in the same area, but we the Blue Origin now they they're testing their rocket. Well, they are testing there, which is cool. They're also testing was it the B seven B E seven engine for the um, their lunar lander design? Oh. Uh, yeah, so there as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, they're actually so. refurbishing it a little bit. You know, that's kind of an old uh, kind of got had its time has uh taken its toll on that test stand but they are refurbishing it and making it look a whole lot better and um they are going to use it and um yeah it's going to be awesome it, the the factory that they have installed here is actually a 200 million dollar factory um and will make <laughs> over 300 jobs which they are hiring for right now if you uh -huh. got on indeed.com or maybe linkedin you can check out um what they're hiring for I looked at one of them, and it said you needed 15 years of aerospace engineering experience. 15. 15 years. 15. Yes. Well, they probably definitely want to fund the experience here in Huntsville, Alabama, because all the aerospace companies and everybody working at Marshall. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess I wonder if uh, Marshall will see a max, uh, mass exodus of people <sighs> getting uh, new, better-paying jobs over at Blue Origin. That's controversial. You never know. I mean, you either work for Blue Origin or NASA. Which one you want to work for? Well, there's a bunch of other. Probably whatever pays better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I don't know. You get to say I work for Marshall. Well, uh, you know, Blue Origin is pretty popular too. So, so the yeah. um, the Vulcan rocket is actually being built in Decatur. Really? ULA's launch, uh, ULA's Vulcan rocket is actually being built in Decatur, which is only you know ten minutes from here, fifteen minutes. Yeah, and um. So that's why has a that's what part of the reason why they picked Huntsville and okay. they have been building this building for two years. Yeah, I I think I remember seeing it 
like, well, like that's the 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 time I've been here, I've been watching it kind of be built. And I was like, what is that? This is massive. <laughs> yeah. So, so just more and more space uh, space flight companies coming to Huntsville, and um, just going to be more and more money coming in, more and more traffic. Look forward to that. And um, more and more traffic. Yeah. Blue Origin. I, I already don't. I want SpaceX to come here. <laughs> yeah, now that um, Blue Origin is here, I have a feeling that SpaceX is not going to be able to come here. Not at all? So, like, in my hometown, you know, we had a uh, Walmart distribution, and because of that, we couldn't have any targets there. Oh, that's that's interesting. Because they were like, no, if yeah. Target comes well, here, we're leaving. So, if Blue, maybe if SpaceX came there, Blue Origin's like, we're out. Well, there's so many, like, aerospace companies here already, though. You know, like, they, they, they're not the only ones building engines here. So, yeah. Yeah, but there's but there's like beef. There's beef there between beef. there's beef. Yeah, between Elon and Jeff Bezos. Yeah. If in case you did not know, and somehow you live under a rock and you just don't care about space stuff, Jeff Bezos, owner of Amazon, is the also the owner of Blue Origin. Yeah, and Blue Origin was the very first uh, company, a commercial company, to achieve vertical takeoff and landing with their New Shepard rocket in suborbital was a suborbital flight. That's why they named it after Alan Shepard, who also, you know, first American to perform a suborbital uh, flight. So You just say first U.S. man in space. First U.S. man in space. But, well, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first U.S. man in space, but um, he, his mission was only suborbital, 15 minutes. And then the new Glenn, named after the first American to orbit the planet, John Glenn, um, is supposed to orbit the planet? Yes. Okay. So that is their um, rockets that they are currently working on right now, but n- those will not be worked on here in Huntsville. Um, it's o- They're only working on those two different engines for the Vulcan rocket. Yeah. Interesting. Well, cool. <laughs> Never really gets in the, like, in front of your face, but it's like, right in front of, you know... That was a terrible. It's see, it's like <laughs> whatever. I don't care. <laughs>